Good day. I'm Keith McKinnon, and welcome to Masonic Curious. If you've been reading our Facebook page, you would have realized by now that um, our editor, Chuck, his computer had crashed, and on it was all of the files for editing, as well as a number of our videos. So, as he is trying to rebuild his computer and get these videos back up on YouTube, we're going to try to produce a few shorties for you to keep your interest going on Masonic Curious. So one piece is right behind me. It is a safe. Now, this is something that you normally don't see when you walk into a Masonic building, uh, unless you go into the back rooms or so. Um, this one here dates to 1875. Uh, it was purchased for the Cambridge Masonic Hall Association, which you see at the top here. Uh, it was purchased brand new. The Masonic Hall Association was founded in 1871, and it still continues today. It is the uh, organization that owns and manages the Cambridge Masonic Temple here in Cambridge, Massachusetts. This is a one-ton fireproof safe. wasn't really made for security, such as like a home safe. These were made basically to hold the various important documents of a Masonic Lodge, meaning its charter, uh, secretary's minutes, bylaws, maybe the treasurer's ledgers, membership rosters, and any other important paperwork. Now this, the front, <clears throat> is all hand painted, originally done in gold leaf and in red. Uh, it does need some major restoration in the front. Uh, it was made by the McNeil and Urban Safe Company in Hamilton, Ohio, and it was sold by the George Foster and Company, who were agents for uh, McNeil and Urban here in Boston, Massachusetts. Uh, it was originally <clears throat> in the old Masonic Hall in Central Square uh, in Cambridge, and when this building was built, uh, the floor, as you can see, was reinforced. The wall behind it is a load-bearing wall. And what they do is, there's a window to the right. Before they completed the window, they actually winched this safe into place. Now, the front has a beautiful mural on the front. But again, it, it needs some restoration. But as you open it, the insides still maintain some of the beautiful coloring. And there's another mural here of a cliff. And on the other side, is a waterfall scene. Now, whether or not these have any Masonic significance, do not know since there's no record of it. And then the inner doors, all hand done. And each Locker has, or uh, each lodge has their own compartment. They're not very big. Uh, big enough to hold your charter and books and some other paperwork. So these safes are still around some of these buildings. Not as big as this one. I have seen smaller ones. Again, well, beautiful scenes were painted on them, all hand-lettered, pinstriping, and decorations all done by hand. Um, you know, check them out when you're in a Masonic building. Um, see if you can find an oldie. Uh, sometimes you do see these things come up on auction. Uh, it's a great piece of uh, historical significance for us here at Cambridge, and hopefully one day we can get the front uh, restored. So... Um, Thanks for watching. Um, please hit the like button and the subscribe button and uh, watch for more videos coming out soon. So on behalf of all of us here at Masonic Curators, take care.